Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Unique World. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to accomplish this cute, simple, and easy way to create a watermelon wine glass. So if you like what you see, make sure you tune in and keep watching. All right, let's get started. Here is a display of exactly everything you're going to need to accomplish this wine glass. So the first step is to just go on Google and find some seeds that you want to use in order to cut out on the creek cut. And what you're going to do is you're going to peel the vinyl and they're gonna be used basically for like stickers to place on the wine glass. A very important step is to use alcohol to clean off your wine glass. Right here, I'm gonna be using electrical tape and I'm just outlining exactly where I would like it to outline the cup. So when you're taping your cup, Make sure that you're taping it to where you can see exactly where the pink part of the watermelon is going to be and where your seeds are going to be. And there you go. This is how I taped up both of my wine glasses. Now you're going to clean your wine glasses again with alcohol. So that way you can go ahead and stick on the vinyl seeds to the glass. And this will help make the seeds stick on um, very nicely. You can use how many seeds you would like. Um, I just randomly just stuck seeds on the glass and no type of pattern at all. Now it's time to go ahead and grab your Mod Podge. So what I do is I just pour my Mod Podge into a little small bowl container um, so that way I don't get any of my glitter mixed up inside the original Mod Podge container. And I'm just going to slightly put on a thin layer of the Mod Podge so that I can go ahead and put glitter on the cup. And you got to work fast because it dries very quick. So right here, I'm just gonna put some of the pink glitter all over the glass to make sure that I cover every part of the glass. And if you, by any chance, just kind of like skip over some parts, don't worry, you're gonna be doing another layer of the glitter, the Mod Podge and the glitter. Okay, so I'm doing two cups and this is just me doing a repeat of the first cup, putting Mod Podge on the wine glass and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the glitter on and I'm just shaking glitter all over the cup, making sure that I'm getting every area of the cup. Okay, so glitter is gold. So what I'm doing is I am trying to put the unused glitter back into the glitter container so that I can use it for another project. And this is how the cups look so far. Two hours later. So this is how the cups look after two hours of being dry. And what I'm doing is going ahead and doing a second layer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put Mod Podge all over the glass once again. And then after I spread the Mod Podge around the cup, I will be going ahead and putting glitter back onto the cup. Two hours later. So I'm back after two hours, and this is what the cups look like after two hours of being dry. And I would recommend doing a third layer because I didn't do it and I could see some of the green coming through. So right here, I am just removing the tape slowly 
but I'm also slowly pulling the tape up so that it will leave a really nice clean straight line. So right here, I am retaping the glass to where I am leaving a gap in between the pink and the glass so that when I do my green glitter, I will be able to see some green outlining the pink part of the glass. So I made sure that I completely electrical tape my entire glass. And the reason why that I made sure that it was fully covered is because I'm going to be spraying some clear glaze all around the cup so that way none of the glitter comes off and the glitter is sealed permanently on the glass. So you want to make sure when you use the clear glaze spray to use it in a ventilated area. So this is why I went outside to spray the cup so that it can go in all the places that I needed to go where the glitter is located. 20 minutes later. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some Mod Podge into the container again. And I am just gonna do another layer but this time I'm going to be doing a layer for the green glitter. Not sure if you can tell, but I can tell a difference between sealing the cup because none of the pink glitter actually came off as I was putting the Mod Podge on. And that gives it a good clean layer because you don't want your pink and green to mix up because pink and green will make purple. And again, I'm doing two cups, so I am just doing a repeat of what I've done on the first cup, Mod Podge, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the glitter on the cup. And here is what the cups look like with a green layer of glitter. Now it's time to seal the cups again with the clear glaze. 20 minutes later. So I have removed the tape from the glass and now instead of using epoxy, I'm going to be using triple thick glaze. So all you need is pretty much a thin layer. And once again, if you would like, you can kind of do a second layer after it dries after 24 hours but I actually only use one layer of the triple thick um, glaze and you're just gonna basically just put it on smoothly and it's gonna give you that glossy look um, finish and it's gonna really make the glitter kind of like pop If you notice, you can see that none of the green glitter is nowhere on my paintbrush. And that's because we use that clear glaze because that glaze, um, the spray clear crystal glaze is what actually sealed the glitter in place. So that way, when we actually paint on the triple thick glaze, it actually help make sure that none of the glitter moves so that we can do this finished touch. Twenty four hours later. So this is what the cups look like after 24 hours. And if you look inside the cup, you see that you can see some of that green that I was telling you guys maybe recommend a third layer of pink because that third layer of pink is so thin, you actually need to use a third layer to make sure that all you see is pink watermelon instead of some of the green. So this is it. And if you would like 
to see more of this um, or if you have any tips that you would like to provide um, leave it down in the comment section below so that I can read them and continue to provide um, these different types of glasses and definitely comment like and hit that subscribe button thanks